Good morning, folks. Today we're looking at the sun, major flooding in the United States, storm Crathon in the West Pacific, and two excellent papers on solar impacts that exceeded all expectations. Well, except for those who expected that. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star where solar flaring has been relatively low. The Earth-facing sunspots and plasma filaments have been stable, a couple eruptions off the limbs in the far side, but all in all, the Earth-facing quiet continues. While we will still be monitoring the sunspots, they are of the same level of risk as yesterday, which isn't much. These could produce some M-class flares, but they lack the size and complexity for bigger ones. We'll monitor their development and their activity. Meanwhile, the plasma filaments present perhaps the more reliable eruption threat. So far, they have stayed largely stable in the Earth-facing position, but they are big. There sure are a lot of them. Solar Watch continues. Folks, the aftermath of Hurricane Helene is still a nightmare for so many communities. The storm itself was bad, but lingering remnants and dam failures have triggered an outrageous amount of severe to extreme flooding situations. Prayers for all those affected as the nightmare isn't expected to be over for these areas for a while. We're also monitoring Storm Crathon in the West Pacific, still spinning near the Philippines and heading north towards Taiwan. This one is very strong and moving very slowly, and so even while it sits offshore, it is a flood threat for nearby regions. First up in today's articles, the May 2024 solar superstorm continues racking up records and extreme statistics. The impact of the solar storm was so severe it entirely eroded the high-latitude F2 layer of the ionosphere. This is an extremely rare thing to see and should be reserved for the largest solar eruptions, which those were not, but once again, they hit Earth with that level of force due to the weakening of the magnetic field and the ongoing pole shift. Speaking of which, the first big storm after the last major magnetic anomaly and acceleration event in 2023 happened in April. This one also presented with extreme storm effects despite being a moderate solar wind amplification. One short-lived density pulse was able to create severe geomagnetic disruptions. Once again, outperforming any reasonable expectation unless you know that Earth's shields are fading. Folks, don't forget I'll be out at Observer Ranch today. Later in October, they're throwing a birthday party for me. There are even more events in the coming weeks and months as well. Links are below. We would love for you to come see us in person. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.